thoughts? I mean, what a what a whirlwind of kind of emotions here the last 24 hours. Huh? Yeah, up, it was crazy. Uh, once the clock hit zero on the Oregon State clock, we all got on the field and uh, shook as many fans' hands as I could, thanks, thanking them for coming out. Then we ran into the locker room and started popping Martinelli's uh, apple cider. So it was just a crazy feeling. Now waking up. You think it was a dream, but it's actually reality. Coming here, watching the BCS show, showing that uh, Auburn versus Oregon, there's no better feeling like it. Yeah, can you talk about the uh, show right there? Because it seemed like uh, I know you guys couldn't celebrate as much as you wanted to because the trip was on the air, but uh, there was almost a feeling of like, okay, yeah, we knew. Well, that. it was it was kind of weird in there because at first they had the the volume turned up, but then at the last minute when they started announcing stuff, they turned it down, so we didn't know exactly when to start yelling because people were trying to listen in because you had about 300 people in one room trying to watch a small TV with the, uh, with the sound down, so it was kind of weird trying to find out when we were supposed to start yelling, but once Chip started talking, then the crowd got hyped. Tell, give me your thoughts on um, Cam Newton and how he, what he does for Auburn. I mean, does it all, compare it all to what you faced in Ohio State with Terrell Pryor? Um, just his overall athletic ability. You know, you have to hit him a certain way. You have to get to him a certain way because he does have long arms that can stiff arm you or he can run away from you because his strides are so long. So it's just going to be the defense's job to get a lot of people on him and make sure we can constrict the hole for him and not give him a lot of running room. What did you guys learn from that Terrell Pryor Ohio State Rose Bowl that you maybe could apply in this game? Do you think um, we just have to play, just have to play mistake-free football. I wish you know we have to read our keys. Uh, we felt going to the fourth quarter, we were actually leading the game. A lot of people thought that our defense got ran over by Terrell Pryor or they handled us decisively, but it was actually a game all the way up until I'd say about the last six minutes of the game. So just take, just taking those lessons and say, hey, we have to get everybody to the ball. We can't, can't allow uh, stupid errors or miscues of any sort. Uh, 35 days you mentioned until the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, what does that do? I mean, do you, just, you guys just get the whole week off here and then you get to... Right now, this is, uh, we're going into our finals week right now, so we're not going to practice for this upcoming week. We're just going to take the week off and uh, turn in our books, uh, write our final papers, stuff like that, and then after that, get ready for football. Do you have to, like, just pinch yourself sometimes? I mean, you know, you're playing in the BCS title game January 10th. Oh, uh, it's a crazy feeling. It's a crazy feeling, man. Watching this when I was a kid, uh, back when, even 2005, when SC played against Texas, it was, you could tell that was just a magical game, and I always wanted to be in that game playing with them, so the simple fact that I now have that, you know, feeling like it. Hey, thanks a lot.